Hello professionals, welcome to my YouTube channel YK360. In this video we will check most important questions asked in scaffolding supervisor, inspector, engineers interviews. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe, we will update more questions regarding scaffolding soon. Now let's move on to the questions. Question number 1. Lift height shall not exceed a dash, the options are, A. 4 meters, 13 feet. B. 2 meters, 6.5 feet. C. 1.8 meters, 6 feet. D. None is given. Answer is option. B. 2 meters, 6.5 feet. Question number 2. Wood bracing is important to prevent excessive sway and necessary in both transfers and longitudinal directions of all system and tube and coupler scaffolds. The options are A. Interior longitudinal bracing, B. Facade bracing, C. Vertical bracing, D. None is given. Answer is option C. Vertical bracing. Question number 3. Bracing for system scaffolds is specially designed to dash. The options are a. Grid size of the scaffold. B. Big size of the scaffold. C. Small size of the scaffold. D. Either B or C. Answer is option. A. Grid size of the scaffold. Question number 4. System scaffold components shall not be used to construct what type of scaffolds? The options are A. Tube and coupler, B. Mobile scaffold, C. Underhung, D. A and B. Answer is option, C. Underhung. Question number 5. Bearer, transoms, including board bearers, intermediate transoms, shall extend at least dash. Beyond the runner center line. The options are, A. 550 millimeters, B. 100 millimeters, C. 450 millimeters, D. 200 millimeters, enter is option, B. 100 millimeters. Question number 6. What scaffold tool is required to tighten scaffold couplers to the torque between 40 kg M to 80 kg M? The options are, A. Spanner, B. Cheater bars, C. Long handled wrenches, D. None of the above. This question is for you. Guess the correct answer and comment the answer with your name, country name, and work location. Selected members' details will be displayed in our next video as winners. Question number 7 What is the maximum scaffold height required for light duty tube and coupler scaffold with maximum three working levels? The options are A. 38 meters, 125 feet, B. 28 meters, 91 feet, C. 24 meters, 78 feet, D. None is given. Answer is option, B. 28 meters, 91 feet. Question number 8. What is the maximum scaffold height required for medium duty tube and coupler scaffold with maximum one working level? The options are, A. 38 meters, 125 feet, B. 28 meters, 91 feet, C. 24 meters, 78 feet, D. None is given. Answer is option, A. 38 meters, 125 feet. Question number 9. Mobile and tower scaffolds shall be horizontally and vertically braced in what directions? The options are, A. Both directions, B. One direction only, C. No direction required, D. Upward direction. Answer is option, A. Both directions. Question number 10. What is the maximum post spacing required in both directions for light duty tube and coupler, mobile and tower scaffolds at, R1 bay long and, 1 bay wide and, constructed with steel tubing, that is not manufactured and embossed? 
The options are A. 6 meters, 20 feet, B. 9 meters, 30 feet, C. 3 meters, 10 feet, D. 1.7 meters, 5.5 feet. Answer is option D. 1.7 meters, 5.5 feet. Question number 11. What is the maximum post spacing required in both directions for light duty tube and coupler, mobile and tower scaffolds, that one bay long and, one bay wide and, constructed with steel tubing, that is manufactured and embossed? The options are, A. 6 meters, 20 feet, B. 2 meters, 6.5 feet, C. 3 meters, 10 feet, D. 1.7 meters, 5.5 feet. Answer is option, B. 2 meters, 6.5 feet. Question number 12. What shall be used in leveling immobile or tower scaffolds? The options are, A. Base plate, B. Screw jacks, C. Sill, sill board or sill plate, D. None is given. Answer is option, B. Screw jacks. Question number 13. What is the required diameter of steel casters for mobile scaffold rated for light duty? The options are, A. 120 mm, B. 100 mm, C. 170 mm, D. 200 mm. Answer is option, A. 120 mm. Question number 14. What is the required diameter of steel casters for mobile scaffold rated for medium duty? The options are, A. 120 mm, B. 100 mm, C. 170 mm, D. 200 mm. Answer is option, C. 170 mm. Question number 15. What shall be used to fit all casters to prevent movement while the mobile scaffold is being used? The options are, A. Screw jacks, B. Positive wheel lock, C. Negative wheel lock, D. None is given. Answer is option, B. Positive wheel lock. Question number 16. Which of the following is not permitted for mobile or tower scaffold? The options are, A. Cantilevered working areas, B. Casters, C. Screw jacks with locking pins, D. B only. Answer is option, A. Cantilevered working areas. Question number 17. What is the required height of the uppermost work platform? The options are, A. Four times the minimum base dimension of any mobile or tower scaffold, B. Five times the minimum base dimension of any mobile or tower scaffold, C. Six times the minimum base dimension of any mobile or tower scaffold, D. Seven times the minimum base dimension of any mobile or tower scaffold. Answer is option, A. Four times the minimum base dimension of any mobile or tower scaffold. Question number 18. What should be provided to every platform? The options are, A. Complete guardrail system, B. Top rails only, C. Mid rails only, D. B and M. C. Answer is option, A. Complete guardrail system. Question number 19. What is the required load in order fabricated tubular frame scaffold can be used? The options are, A. 120 kg per meter square or less, B. Greater than 120 kg per meter square, C. Greater than 240 kg per meter square, D. None is given. Answer is option, A. 120 kg per meter square or less. Question number 20. What is the required nominal outside diameter of scaffold tubing? The options are, A. 96.6 mm, 3.8 inches, B. 48.3 mm, 
1.9 inches, c. 144.9 millimeters, 5.7 inches, d. 193.2 millimeters, 7.6 inches. Answer is option, b. 48.3 millimeters, 1.9 inches. Question number 21. What is the maximum height of fabricated tubular frame scaffold? The options are, a. 6 meters, 20 feet, b. 28 meters, 91 feet, c. 3 meters, 10 feet, d. 12 meters, 40 feet. Answer is option, a. 6 meters, 20 feet. Question number 22. Bracket scaffold shall only be used to support a load of dash. The options are, a. Medium duty, b. Light duty, c. Special duty, d. Heavy duty. Answer is option, b. Light duty. Question number 23. Bracket, bracket straps and other associated structural members shall be free from dash. The options are, a. Detrimental corrosion, b. Damage, c. Defects, d. a, b, c. Answer is option, d. a, b, c. Question no 24. Bracket shall be installed dash. The options are, a. Diagonally, b. Vertically, c. Horizontally, d. None is given. Answer is option, b. Vertically. Question number 25. A guardrail system, shall be provided, on the inside platform edge, when the gap between the platform and tank is dash. The options are, a. 360 mm, 14 inches, b. 180 mm, 7 inches, c. 90 mm, 3.5 inches, d. 720 mm, 28 inches. Answer is option, a. 360 mm, 14 inches. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. We will update more questions regarding scaffolding soon.